We're on the streets with the community, with the people, engaging. I've just had a fascinating discussion with some young people at the, at the gates around reforms around higher education for young Indians, around LGBTQI rights, believe it or not, and equality. Um, as India chairs or has presidency over the G20, what do you think that the G20 could do and, and the presidency of India could do in terms of accelerating um, adolescent health, well-being and development outcomes, but also considering that Brazil and South Africa are the incoming next chairs of the G20. So good global South solidarity with the G20. How do you think that could play out? India is exactly the right country to be leading at this time. It's now got the world's largest population and in that the world's largest adolescent youth population. So if anyone can speak and lead on this, it's India. So for India engaging with and listening to its young people, taking these messages into the G20, creating platforms at the G20 uh, for young people to engage and be heard, this is an important time. The G20 is important. It does have a bearing on what happens in other gatherings like the UN. So India's leadership is very important. Amazing. I, I found it quite um, inspiring as to how India in their presidency had centred the climate crisis in the concept of one earth. Um, what more do you think young people can do in terms of raising alarm around where we are uh, with very watered down uh, consensus and COP in previous years? And, and how do you think we should envision youth activism going into the next COP and broader climate related processes? I think that adolescent and youth voices need to be heard for a fossil fuel free future. Mm -hmm. Our best future is ahead of us if we can get on top of this. Mm -hmm. As long as we continue to generate our energy from coal and oil and gas, we've got major problems. Mm -hmm. So voices from this great country uh, for uh, renewable energy, more investment in the technologies that make it possible to achieve that goal. I think that's one of the most important the young people can do. Also raising the issue of the heavy fossil fuel uh, use on the air quality in the cities. We're here in Delhi now, it's, it's been raining, so the, you know, the air is um, not what we would see in November, December, January. But you know, there are real health issues for young people, which they're appreciating. They're seeing not just the uh, impact on the environment as such and, mm. and wild places and species, they're seeing the impact on their health. Mm. So we're at this Rogeri event, we've spoken about messages to policy makers and to allies of young people. What would your message be to the community out here in Chandi Chok at this Rogeri? Listen to the young people, make a place for them to have their voice and say. And it's not just with the government of a great country like mm. India. It's at the city level, mm -hmm. it's at the community level, it's at the you know, state level. Mm -hmm. Make these spaces so that young people can have input. They're a huge demographic in this country and they won't want decisions made about them without them.